Hi, welcome to East Carolina University College of Education. I am so excited about your acceptance into ECU for this fall 2020. Welcome aboard! ECU has a long legacy of excellence in preparing teachers in North Carolina. East Carolina University was first founded in 1907 as East Carolina Teachers Training School. If you're interested in teaching high school English or high school history, then you would be interested in either English education or history education. My name is Tina Mickey, and I am the academic advisor for both English education and history education. East Carolina University College of Education offers two double majors. Guess what? These are those majors. Upon successful completion of the entire curriculum, you would earn two degrees. Yes, two degrees for the price of one. For my English education students, you would graduate with a BS, a Bachelor's of Science in English Education, and a BA, Bachelor's of Arts in English. My history education students, you would graduate with a BS, a Bachelor's of Science in History Education, and a BA, a Bachelor's of Arts in History. For my English education students, this is your sample plan of study for your freshman year. If you're bringing in college credits through a dual enrolled program or AP courses, then I can work with you one on one to let you know which courses you have completed that transfer into ECU and which courses you need going forward. But for a freshman coming into ECU without any college credits, this would be your sample plan of study for your freshman year. One of the great things about both English education and history education, we can flip flop your courses from your freshman and sophomore year. So I recommend students to start at the top of the list and work your way down when you're registering for courses for this fall 2020. If a course is full, has no seats available, no big deal. Move on down to the next course to register. We do highly recommend our students to register for roughly 15 to 17 credit hours each semester. If you don't feel comfortable with taking 15 to 17 credit hours for your very first semester here or even going forward, no big deal. We can work together and you can take future summer courses. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me regarding your plan of study. For my history education, this is your sample plan of study for your freshman year. Just like my English education students, if perhaps you're bringing in some college credits, I would work with you. Also, once you go to register, if a course is full, no big deal. Move on down to the next course. We can flip-flop your freshman and sophomore courses to get you a full-time semester with roughly 15 to 17 credit hours. If you don't feel comfortable taking 15 to 17 credit hours each semester, no big deal. We can work together to register for some future summer courses. If you have any questions, I'll be more than glad to work with you on your plan of study. These are some noteworthy discussions for both English education and history education. There are certain courses in both of these programs that require a grade of C or better for your double major and also your licensure purposes. Once we do meet face to face, I'm going to go ahead and give you your entire four year curriculum just so you will know the entire curriculum. Don't worry though, I will still meet with you each semester for registration of your next semester courses. But on that entire plan of study curriculum plan that I will be giving you will list your sophomore, junior, and senior courses. Some of 
these courses are going to have an asterisk beside them. The courses that have an asterisk beside them will be the courses that you will be required to make a C or higher. If you don't make a C or higher for your very first try, you can take the course again. But please know that it may extend your graduation by an entire year as some of these courses are only offered once a year. For your 21-23 course, it will be offered your sophomore year. It is an introduction course. This course is taken your sophomore year and it's gonna be your very first course that's gonna be required to make a C or higher in. This is an introduction course, so we will be placing you into a local high school classroom, either English or history, depending on your major. So you will be able to observe that class. Students absolutely love this 21-23 course because it's their very first time that they're in a classroom after high school um, and they will be able to take some pros and cons that they will be able to use in their own future classroom. So we have talked about your 21-23 course, which is going to be your sophomore year, an observation course. But then how are you going to gain actual classroom experience of teaching for your own future classroom? Well, here at East Carolina University College of Education, we do offer practicums and internships. Practicums are your junior year and internships are your senior year. This is when we place you back into a high school classroom and you are teaching. Your practicums, you're teaching with that classroom teacher. For your internships, you're on your own teaching. This is going to give you the wonderful experience that you will need to be able to teach your future classroom. For your internship, it is a full-time internship. Senior semester one, which is an always a fall semester, you're going to be in a classroom one full day every single week. You will have classes here on campus for the other days. Your senior semester two, which is always a spring semester because both English education and history education only graduates in the spring semester. That will be a full time internship. You will be in that exact same classroom all day, every day for that spring semester. You will have ECU courses, but they will either be online or in the evening so you can still do your full time senior two internship. For your full-time internship, your senior year, you're able to choose your top four counties where you would like to be placed, and we will honor one of those top four choices to place you in for your senior internship. Your senior year internship can be done in any of these colored counties, which is through the Latham Clinical Schools Network. The only thing is that you cannot do your full-time internship in the school that you attended or in a school that a family member teaches. So what if you need some extra experience while you're either in your practicum or your internships? Or what if you want some practice before you actually get out into that classroom setting your junior and senior year? East Carolina University does offer Mersion here at ECU. Mersion is located on ECU's main campus in the Spate building where most of your education courses are going to be. Mersion is a virtual reality simulation software with avatar based characters. It does provide immediate feedback that will be valuable before you can get into your own classroom. So we have discussed the curriculums for both English education and history education. But now, how do we pay for that? East Carolina University offers many scholarships. Um, the College of Education awarded over $700,000 last year to our own students. So I highly recommend every one of my students to apply for the scholarships. They are awarded
started early for the next academic year. The scholarship deadline is usually around January the 15th. So for when this fall comes along, I will be emailing all of my students information about the scholarship link. I will also be letting you know that it is live as well as reminding you of the scholarship deadline. You click the link and you fill out one application and then it is routed to every application that you could possibly be a recipient for. Very easy process that I do highly recommend every one of my students to apply for. ECU's Academic Success Center has a wonderful website with many teacher education resources and some advising resources forms. I would highly recommend you viewing this website. Another wonderful resource offered through East Carolina University is the Parrot Academic Success Center. They offer free tutoring, study groups, peer academic mentoring, and study skills success coaching. These are free resources. I highly recommend every one of my students to utilize some of these resources. They are offered on campus, but they can also be transitioned online. This is the College of Education Academic Success Center staff. These are my wonderful colleagues. We are housed in the Rivers Building. Once again, my name is Tina Mickey, and I will be your academic advisor if you're interested in either English education or history education. I do require my students to meet with me at least once a semester. You're more than welcome to come and meet with me more than that. You're also more than welcome to send me emails or give me a call if you have any questions. But during our once a semester required appointment, I will check in with you to see how that semester is going. And then we will also plan your next semester of courses so you are ready once registration opens. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to contact us through East Carolina University College of Education Academic Success Center. This is our website as well as our phone number. But I also put my direct email address up here if you have any English education or history education questions. Please feel free to email me this summer this fall and going forward with any questions at mickeyt16 at ecu.edu. And I'm so pleased to welcome you to East Carolina University for this fall 2020. I cannot wait to work with you going forward. Go Pirates!